mileage chart, multiplication, and freeze. The first worksheet, SSN, Security, Social Security, we're going to choose um, D4, and we'd like to have a code, which would be the first two digits of the Social Security slash and the last two digits. And then when you're ready to start the second one, 13, it fit, already knows the pattern, and enter. So that you could actually now hide, so if you go to format, you could hide the full column um, with, all, with the entire social security number, and you could hide that column and just have the code one. Next is the, um, we're gonna skip over to multiplication times table sheet, look familiar, seen that before? We're gonna create it, not as colorful, but we're gonna create where we wanna multiply um, each of the rows, each of the cells. So in the first um, one multiplication table, I, the only thing I have is the X. In B1, I'm gonna type a one, and then I'm gonna drag it right to M. I'm gonna get all ones, but I'll select the autofill options, and instead of copy, choose fill series, so I get one through 12. Do the same thing in A2, and then use your fill handle and go all the way to 13. Again, you're going to get all ones, which is the copy feature. Choose fill series. So at least we have the setup. Now click in your first cell, B2. The formula is equals, and I want to take the um, figure there that's in A2, and I'm always going to use column A. So it's dollar sign A2, multiply, and then I'll type in B, and I'm never going to leave row 1, so dollar sign 1. And then I'll check mark, it should be 1. I'll first use my fill handle and drag across first and let go, and then drag down. Then I'll go to um, the mileage range. This is the key. So we'll start here, and you're going to create a formula that will get you to 1,000. So I'll go into the mileage range, click in C5. So it's a little bit different because the um, columns and rows are a little bit different. But I'll start with equals. And if I look here, column B, the figures in column B are never going to leave column B. So dollar sign B, and I'll start with row 5 times... And then it will be C4. So C, it's never going to leave row 4, so dollar sign 4. And then check mark. And first fill across, let go, and then fill down. And if you get to 1,000, you did it correctly. So these formulas are called absolute cell reference because they have an area that will never leave. For example, we never left row column B, and then we never left row 4. The next thing we'll do is, um, you can't see it, but if you wanted to, you could adjust this more to see more of your sheets at the bottom, and choose freeze. And if we were to look at this, there's quite a few tests, so if I were to drag across, more tests on the right hand side. When I get to their average that we'll do in a few moments, I don't see their name. It's hidden on the left hand side. So if I were to come back, okay, and then I come back over here, by then I'll probably forget the name. So what you want to do, and the same thing is this, when you're going down, you don't know what test number you're on. So what we want to do is what's called freeze uh, an area, a range. So I always want to see column A. So I'm going to freeze column A. I also always want to see rows 1, 2, 3, and 4 so that I can see the test numbers. So I'm in right now B5. Before I, I go in there, I'm just going to show you something real quick if we were to go to print preview. If I choose file, print, You'll see the names are on the first sheet of test eight. When I go to the next one, their names are not there, but the rest of the test, and again, the rest of the test, their names are not there. So if I'm in B5, I'll choose View and choose Freeze Panes. And when I do that, I'm just gonna get like a, a very thin plus sign right in that area. So I'll click it and choose Freeze Panes and you get that little plus sign. So as I move my cursor now, what will happen is test one will tuck under 
the column A, so it's going under. And the same thing happens if you go further down, it's tucking under row four. So just to, to so this is good for visually on your screen, especially if you have lots of columns and lots of rows. But if you go back to file print, it does not um, keep the names on each of the pages. They're still not there. I'll show you that part later. So now we'll go back to our formula for V. Five, we want the average. So if you click your home, out of some down arrow, average, and it should be B5 through U5, which is perfect. Check. And then go ahead and drag it down so that they're all filled. And then the pass fail, depending on if they have over 60 or grade average, they'll either pass or fail. So it's an if function, so click the FX and if and okay so based on their average so v5 is greater than or equal to 60 then they're going to pass that's if it's true if it's false they'll fail and then go ahead and click okay and then again drag this down and i don't think anyone failed so that's good and if they all depending if they pass or fail they'll either get three credits or none Go back to the function, fx, and it's still if, okay. The top part's the same. I'm still basing it on v5 greater than or equal to 60. If it's true, they're going to get their three credits. If it's false, they get zero. So the last thing we'll do is get column A to print on all of the sheets so that you have their names on all of the pages. So it's in um, page layout and there's a group called page setup. Click this diagonal down arrow. And we've done this before where we've changed it from portrait to landscape. We've gone into margins so that we can center it both vertically and horizontally. We also have gone into header and footer to do either a custom header or custom footer. We usually put um, the name, the date, and, and your name. We haven't gone here, sheet. And the column that I want to repeat is um, dollar sign A colon dollar sign A. So I want it to repeat all of column A. So I can go right here to print preview. And there's the names like we've seen them before on the first page. When I click the arrow to go to the second page, there they are. And they're even on the third page. And that's a save and submit.